Hello everyone. I just wanted to uh, do a review and a walking tour of Avani, Avani Resort in Uyan. And I wanted to really show you guys what it looks like. It's right next to Anatara, which is a much higher end resort. I've never stayed there before, but uh, this is my first time at Avani. So Avani and Anatora are next door to each other. And so this is what Avani looks like. The room here as of October 2023, it is, uh, I saw for like the deluxe room, it's like 108 USD on hotels.com. And uh, for the room that we got, which is like a family suite room. Ooh, I didn't see bananas. It's um, like 180 and then you pay like another 40-ish for um, buffet. So here's what the premises, the grounds look like. So let's go ahead and walk inside. I love the outside, it's really nice. So this uh, resort I think is about 18 years old, which is fairly old for a resort in uh, by Vietnam standards. And uh, it does show its age. Um, it does, there are areas that looks like it's uh, could need could use some uh, renovations, but for the most part, the uh, resort is quite nice. It's quite nice because it's uh, it's not too expensive. For instance, if my room with the buffet was two hundred thirty total, Anatara, which is next door, it's um like triple that amount, like six to eight hundred dollars for a family suite. So this is kind of like the, uh, oh, I guess it's like the, the restaurant area. They have like a pool table. I guess that's where the buffet is happening. The breakfast buffet which I'll be uh, recording as well for everyone. This is the lobby. It's crazy because it's October and uh, it's not the uh, tourist season. So it feels like we had this whole place to ourselves. I think I only saw like maybe two other couples. Hope you guys um, are getting stabilized video. I have a DJI OM6 gimbal and I'm using my Ultra S23. Really excited about the 24 to come out. But I'm kind of debating. So there's like three phones I was debating on. It was the um, the iPhone Pro Max 15, which just came out. And that has probably like the industry best for um, video for a smartphone. But uh, I hope that um, Samsung Ultra S24 catches up. And then another one that's a huge contender is uh, Google Pixel Pro 8. That one, um, I heard the, uh, the camera's uh, hardware specs is like in for a huge upgrade, so that's gonna be pretty sick. And what is also sick is this dope ass view. love the view here. Uyun Beach is really really nice. Uyun is not developed like the way Da Nang is and it's uh it's definitely behind Yajang but its beach is beautiful. There are a few really nice high-end resorts. Not a lot but there are a few if you're looking for like a beach resort. And they have some really nice ones. There's one like that starts with a Z, can't really pronounce it. Zanier. Zanier, Z A N N I E R. That one is super expensive. Same pr price as Anatara. But that one is super bougie. Like, it's super nice. I want to get a chance to stay there one of these days. 
Look how pretty that is, you guys. So picturesque. It's uh, currently um, 5.45. And yeah, not a soul in sight besides the dude brooming the, uh, the sands. What I really wanted to show you guys was the rocks and the sand. That's... Oh, and I forgot to mention, I mean, the reason why we're here is we uh, we did a family photo with uh, my son, Dawson, which is, you know, he's uh, six months. And um, he... Uh, I, I, we felt like it was... a good time to do like some family photos with them and uh, so we hired a photographer to come out here and take photos so hopefully that turned out well and uh, but yeah that's why we're here we uh, stayed here for a night and also I really wanted to stay here just to uh, get something like some interesting footage um, I guess like when you're at a city for a while, you kind of run out of ideas or cool places to shoot. So I thought this would give us a nice opportunity, one, for the family photos, and two, so I can uh, film this for you guys. Who's down for some chess? I was really surprised to learn that Chinese chess and uh, Western chess is very similar. Oh, here, here you guys, here's the rocks. I love those islands in the back, so gorgeous. So all those Facing the ocean is where we, one of those is where we stayed at as well. Amazing views. And then in the far distance, you can see like the city, Linyan. Linyan uh, is still developing, but I think eventually it's gonna be pretty up there. It's a really nice, uh, well capped city. Um, people are super friendly. And it's funny because, you know, I had a lot of run-ins when I was in Hanoi um, with taxi guys. Grab, taxi, well, not grab, but taxi. Grab is like an Uber, and grab is like a fixed price. But, like, especially with the taxi guys, I would say, like, five out of five, they were trying to, like, you know, jack up the price or something, you know? But, you know, since I've been here for a while, I kind of you know get what's going on but in uh, Winyan everyone's like really honest and like really nice all the taxi guys obviously these are just generalizations so you know user experience will vary but uh, that's kind of been my um, experience at least you know and um, yeah I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about um, you know some life updates because um, you know, something super sad, an event that was extremely sad happened in my life, which is, um, I did lose my mom recently. It was like about, it's been about close to two months and it wasn't unexpected. Um, she was battling cancer, liver cancer for about three years, you know? So she, uh, she fought hard. She's a very, um, strong woman and she had such a strong will uh to live you know but uh eventually she succumbed and uh it was really sad you know i mean I, it's it's really hard to express because it's like someone that came into this world or you came into this world with this person and they walked on this earth with you you know but uh for me, I had so many good memories with my mom and really good uh, conversations and laughter and just a lot of happiness. So for me, I don't view it so much as like, 
you know it's just more of a, of, of sad it's more of a miss missing and a yearning and I just wanted her to be here to uh, to meet my son and just to see what uh, how I turned out you know and uh, so it's sad to not have her here with us but uh, I'm extremely relieved though that she's not in pain because cancer is a bitch seriously it's pretty brutal man pretty fucking brutal and um, but yeah you know and I've been out of the YouTube game for a while you know uh, a lot going on in life uh, you know just oh shit there's a crab you guys um, yeah I uh, it's we have a son uh, six he's a six months and some weeks old and um, he's been uh, I don't know, just uh, extremely feel, I feel extremely fortunate and extremely happy uh, that, uh, you know, we have him. His name is Dawson, and he's just a sweet, sweet little kid, little baby, laughs all the time, and I can't wait to, uh, you know, introduce you guys to him. He's going to be a, a staple on the video, of course. And he's just a really, uh, really fun baby. He's very energetic, happy. Seems very like happy, easy-go-lucky so far. Hasn't been too much like fuss. Not, he hasn't been too fussy. Oh, this has like some other um, hotels down there too, resorts that are like a lot less uh, expensive. Like the one that's standing up with maybe what is it like eight floors. That one is actually pretty affordable. I was thinking about staying at that one. But here's what the lo outside looks like of the uh, the rooms, the suites. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys like a life update, you know. Always something bittersweet in the year i guess but this one is like to the extreme of one end to the other you know losing my mom and uh the birth of my son but uh you know it's life and i got to be with my mom for 40 something years so i'm not going to um you know I'm, it's more of a celebration and just uh remembering all the positive you know because a lot of people weren't even as close to being as fortunate as I am I still have my dad he's healthy my mom you know she was uh, she was a very healthy person you know all into the end she really did her best to keep keep her health as, as good as it could be um, and now it's like a uh, new chapter in life you know you got a kid time to raise your kid teach your kid protect your kid and my favorite is just to um, take them out and about because once I, I once or oh, not once but like when he's out and about and he sees things for the first time it's just like wild man his eyes just like baby's eyes just lights up you know it's just like all this information that they uh, absorb through their eyes for the first time and I love it I love that look of wonder of amazement of just like ooh what's this it's like oh like even with the hands you know like ah it's a leaf like damn you know kind of puts things into perspective you know when you look at a baby the way they react it's like We've been on this earth for so long and we just don't have that same reaction but you know we should we should appreciate things and just uh, value things and just uh, suck it all in as well as best as we can you know because seriously life is ridiculously short and uh, nothing is guaranteed 
you don't even know where how tomorrow's gonna be so just uh you know just value things cherish things and uh it's early so I'm not trying to preach or anything it's just my experience and uh i'm just uh rambling on you guys but that's pretty the, them clouds them clouds yo well there's actually like a few people in the ocean um swimming so i am gonna head back to the suite and a check on dawson and uh we are going to eat breakfast when the buffet is ready i think it opens soon and so we have today we have q we have grandpa and oh my gosh grandpa is like so in love with him it's awesome and then we have um dawson grandma isn't here because she's busy but uh all right i will end the clip here and when i start eating again and when i go to the buffet i will show you guys what the uh buffet has going on this is what i mean when i say some of the places can use updating like this looks really worn out but so far so good everyone here has been pretty friendly and uh it's a nice resort man nothing like going to sleep and hearing the the what is it the waves the ocean water is just crashing sounds like uh those wave machines that help you put you to sleep all right guys peace out hey guys so let's go ahead and do a quick rim tour of avani resorts in Wuyan. i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what this room looks like there is the stairway stairwell leads up to the top where there's two twin beds and uh, let's see what's in here so this resort's been around for quite a long time actually for Vietnam resort standard for Vietnam resort standard age or age and here's the restroom We got four bottles of water, standing shower, here is the toilet. It's, it's a nice looking room, but it definitely shows its age. Here's the first bed. Here's the seating area. We got a Samsung TV. And let's go outside. So we're doing family photos. Hired a professional photographer. That's why we're here. We're only here for a night. But I really want to show you guys the beach. This is really what won me over is this view. It's an amazing view. All the little islands and the rocks sprouting from the sand. You got the palm trees or the coconut trees. Here are all the other family suites. We can actually see some of the coconuts. It's very empty. We like, feel like we're like the only ones here. Let's go up real quick and check out what it looks like on the top. Oh man, this is like really narrow. Not the most comfortable. Ta-da! Very interesting. There's two beds up here. And 
I got these two, uh, I think these are bean bags. A little love nook, aka closet. And here's what it looks like from the top. Grandpa is taking care of Dawson. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, Dawson. Hey, hey. You want to show us your little chomper? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. No, look, one teeth. <laughs> Do you know you're being recorded? Do you know you're being recorded? <laughs> That's in. Hi, Kong. <laughs> hey guys, so my food came out. This is a bagel. Whoa, a bagel in Vietnam. My mind is blown. I haven't seen a bagel in Vietnam yet. Okay, so here's mushrooms. And then this is, uh, I don't know, I think that's a hash brown. Here's a pork sausage, we got the baked beans, we got the crispy bacon, and the tomato, grilled tomato. This is Jaka for Q. It was for Ball. Grandpa. <laughs> Bless you, yeah. Dawson. Bye bye. Oh crap! Cái đó quan trọng rồi. Anh quên cái quan trọng nhất. Cái máy tính các con hả bố? Mất cái đó là khỏi cần làm việc luôn. <cười> Okay, you guys, so we are leaving Avani and uh, just a little trek up. We're in the electric buggy. Whoa. I can feel the, uh, the incline going on. So yeah, this place is really cool. I like it. Everyone's really nice. Good times here. Hope the photos turn out well. So on the right is Anatara, and uh, we definitely want to check out Anatara next time. So this place is actually owned by, it used to be owned by Austria. Not Australia, but Austria, and then Thailand bought it out. Found out talking to the uh, receptionist. All right, you guys, well, that kind of wraps up the, uh, the Ivani review, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next vlog. Bye, y'all. Oh, whoa, Jesus. Oh, my God.